Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about you know, what is distributed testing, why we need a remote or distributed testing with JMeter, and how to do master-slave configuration in JMeter for distributed testing. So let's start with the, what is distributed testing. So distributed, uh, distributed testing or system uses multiple systems to perform stress or load testing. Distributed testing is applied for testing website and server application when they are working with multiple clients simultaneously. This load distributed test environment will look something like this diagram, as shown in this diagram. It will have three main components, the master VM, the slave VMs, and the target servers. The master system will have the Jmeter GUI running, which will control the test uh, in terms of selecting the slave machines, in terms of start and stopping the uh, test on slave machines. Slave machines will have JMeter server running, which will take command from the master uh, JMeter and will send the request to the target system. Target system is a web server which we have, which we will be selecting for the load test. Okay, so now we have seen what is distributed testing. Now let's see why we need distributed testing. So, uh, so whenever we need to simulate the user load, the single client. We cannot handle to do limited hardware uh, resources. In that case, we will need distributed testing. And second is whenever we need to simulate user load um, with, from different geographical location to get realistic load test results. In that case, also we will need distributed system. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what are the preconditions? Uh, let's see, look into the master slave configuration in JMeter to enable the distributed testing. So there are some preconditions that we have to uh, do. So let's, let's look into the preconditions. So first precondition for the master slave configuration in JMeter is that all the machines that we are going to use should have firewalls turned off and all the clients VM that we will be using for master slave configuration must be on the same net subnet. And uh, we also make sure that the JMeter uh, servers can access the can access the slave machines, or uh, we should also make sure that JMeter and the Java versions are used uh, on same JMeter and Java versions are used on all the all different VMs because uh, different Java and JMeter version will cause uh, some issues uh, while setting up the master slave configuration. So let's do the setup now. So to do the setup, uh, only one thing we should we need to take care of or we need to update in the JMeter dot properties. We need to disable the RMI SSL. Uh, flag in the JMeter dot property. So let's see. So I have and the second thing is that the same JMeter version should be available on all three VMs. The same Java version should be available on all VMs. So I have placed already placed the JMeter and the and installed Java and and uh, and set up the environment variable for Java as well. So. So JMeter is placed on the C drive on all these three VMs. Version of the JMeter is 5.4.1. So let's try to uh, run the JMeter server and see what error we get initially. So it says file not found that RMI case road dot JKS is not, it is trying to uh, run the SSL uh, so that is why we are getting this error. So let's quickly disable the SSL RMI dis SSL. So control F RMI dot SSL. Dot disable. Okay, so let's do it on all three games. We are disabling the RMI SSL in all these three VMs.
first thing is this. Now we should be able to start the images server. Okay, so the image server has been started. Next thing is uh, we have next setup we have to do on the master VM or the JMeter. So uh, we need to specify the remote host or the slave machine that we will be using uh, for the distributed testing. So let's specify the remote host. So here we will be specifying the remote host. Okay. So I have already listed the remote or slave machine IP. So I will be using three uh, VMs as a slave machine. Okay, so I have specified that on the diameter dot property remote host. Okay. Now let's uh, let's run the sample scripts that I have already created. So I already have one sample script which I will place in the bin folder on March review. And now let's launch the JMeter now. and open the sample scripts that I just pasted in here. So, so this script is created to produce a throughput of five with a five virtual user. So let's run it on the single machine and see what is the throughput and the uh, threats we are of seeing in as actor. Okay, so we can see that the throughput is maintained being five per second and the active threats are five. So this script is designed to run for one minute. So in one minute, we will be getting a number of samples of around 300. So, so meanwhile, it is running. Let's start the JMeter server on other VMs. Okay, it is started. The meter started on other VMs as well. So yes, so you can see that now the test is about to finish. Threads are ramping down. Now the test has been stopped and in one minute we have received a throughput of five per second and average samples of 297 in one minute. So let's run this script in all three in nodes, slave nodes that we have set up. So Let's clean the results and run remote start all. Okay, so we can see that here they're starting the test on host. This and here also starting the host on, starting the test on host. This and in the first view, also we are getting the same information starting the test. Okay, so. Uh, the node one that is simple, we are using this as both master and slave. So we are controlling the test that is starting and stopping the test. So we can see that the throughput is just tripled now. Now we are getting a uh, triple throughput that is 15 per second. And now in uh, 900. So in one minute, we will be getting the samples uh, executed around 900 in one minute. Okay, so we can see that approximately 900 samples or requests has been executed. Okay, so this way we can control the test uh, in the GUI mode. We also can control the test in the non-GUI mode. Yes. Okay. So to run the test in the non gui mode, so we have one command. We can use this command to run the test in the non gui mode. 
so we can specify the uh, slave nodes as well here so suppose we i want to test this on the two vms only so here is the command for that enter the command it will run the test for one minute and produce the throughput of 10 per second so if we go to the as we have not specified the node 3 so here uh, starting the test on host has not been printed because this is not started on this node but in this node the test is running and on this node as well the test is running so we can see that the starting the test has been printed and we can see that in here so it will produce a total throughput of 10 per second and total samples 600 around in one minute so let's wait for the results to form, to get populated so here is the here are the results that it has produced around 494 it has uh, triggered 494 samples or requests and the throughput produced was around 10 per second okay so this is the way we can do the master slave configuration in jmeter thank you